Okay, I'm Nacho. I'm a software engineer from Barcelona. I'm working at Dynatrace and I'm basically a fan of uh, TDD and extreme programming practices. And I have been working with Java since, you know, before the effect 2000. And I've been working in different roles in this IT world, let's say. Um, also, I'm uh, the founder of Barcelona Java User Groups and the co-founder of the Java GBM Barcelona Conference. I think it was, let's say, about six to seven years ago. This is a funny thing. Uh, I <laughs> I learned about IntelliJ and IDEA in an interview for a job. Uh, it was cool because they they might to me they showed me how to use it and then uh, well after the after the interview I came back to home I said oh I, I love that that how the things were going and I started to play with it like uh, when I when I come back to home so and then I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, so I think normally I open the project I try to get the latest changes from uh, the actual project I'm working with. And I try to, let's say, compile or run the test that uh, I've been probably uh, working with. Uh, so yeah, pretty much I use Git and I use um, the build, uh, let's say, tool for compiling and running uh, either the test or the application. Well, I, I like, one of the things that I like about IntelliJ ideas are the, the the refactoring tool. So uh, all the sets that are built related to that are, I think, really, uh, really good in terms of um, the things that you can do with, uh, with the code you're working with, with the, the interface you're working. If you want to change the signature, if you want to rename a method, or you want to just extract something on a on a class or something like this. Um, yeah, and, and probably the, the possibility to, to run at the same time the test you are working with without having to use the mouse everywhere. Okay, um, so again, there are so many because I'm really used to IntelliJ, uh, but probably uh, as a, a, a other factoring tools. So uh, le, le, the pop-up that appears when you are, uh, let's say, changing your code, and you can always press uh, Control T and show a lot of options where you can just uh, have a look on the ideas that you can actually change your code or how to do it and what's, uh, what's the idea about the, the code that you already have. Or just for example, if you don't know or you want to just uh, change some, some sentences or a particular condition, you can always go go and select a particular place, just not by the mouse, but always using the keyword and expand the controls and reduce the, the let's say the, the context where you are this is always something really great because then you don't know to be always focusing and, and moving the mouse. You will always uh, can be really productive just using only the, the keyword. And at the same time, uh, all all the shortcuts where you are used to the tool, uh, you can always use, I would say, common shift A that is probably the most used feature and the feature I cannot like, can live with it because probably when I don't remember a particular shortcut, I always press common shift A and then I write something. It's like a magic. No, you you want to do something, and then uh, it happens. It happens. In the, it shows here, um, and it's really cool because then you don't need to uh, remember everything. Just comment if they write whatever you want, and then bam, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Depending on the day, I'm used to the console, and then use. Uh, I git for example to checking changes and um and review some changes etc and i think it the, the common just the, the option for for checking the the code and comparing let's say versions of your actual uh changes etc with the changes in the repo um in the remote for example are really let's say easy or handy and uh, i think it it's it's something that is really helpful um, and I would I would like to to use it probably I not use it very let's say every every single day, but it's really important to have the option to use it. And then if I have you know a simple thing that I'm already working with and I have to have a look on the previous version, for example, it's really handy. And also I can also just write a shortcut or define a shortcut for doing this for the actual file. That's a difficult one. So probably navigate through the code is one of the things that I normally use because yes, the only 
the only thing that I use for, for using the mouse is just clicking on a method and then uh, I'm gonna navigate through the code just pressing the command and the click. So, uh, or when the, the this method was used or this class is used, or I want to go to the implementation. So let's say navigate through the code is probably the, the most used feature, feature that I am using. And uh, yeah, but the rest are also, so for example, all the refactor thing, extracting a method, uh, define a constant, extracting a variable, uh, just uh, extract a method or move a method to another class or create a new class at the same time. Uh, and at the same time, running all the configurations is something I normally use. If I'm changing a particular class that is in the middle of, let's say, two packages or an interface that you see in some places, I normally try to run the configurations that are related to that interface. So it means I'm going to run the test for this package. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I'm, I, I'm used to uh, define my live templates. So I also use a lot of live templates for my purposes uh, to defining a new logger, to, to build my current project with a new configuration. So the full configuration of, for dependencies, uh, I don't know. I, I use a, not, a lot of some plugins like Key Promoter or Presentation Assistant because it helps me to, to remember some shortcuts, for example. At the same time, it helping me to create new shortcuts that improve my productivity. Well, I. I I don't know, and probably common sheet eh? also, yeah, to, to search everything. <laughs> uh, yes, I think so, yes. I now, I think, more confident making changes, uh, and also I, I can be more focused, um, let's say, on building and changing code, uh, uh, because basically uh, running and, and, and do things is almost smooth, and all the integrations are, let's say, I would say, are, are good with many tools. So, and just talking about, Talking about smoothness, I, I came from another ID, and I have to normally I have to wait a lot, or uh, from time to time to open a project, and a bit. And at that point, it was a bit painful, uh, but it was something let's say usual for everybody. And I think that the, and, and that, at that point, um, one of the key points that makes IntelliJ different is from 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 another tool is this one, no, to not having to wait. Uh, normally for for projects that I would say are not that uh, that big. So in depending on very large projects, the tool normally reacts quickly. And I think it's something that for developers is really interesting, important for making us, let's say, productive, not wait for the machine that is doing, I don't know, anything. Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I think I, I like, one of the things that you're, I, I like very much is like uh, all the videos that where you are publishing and sharing where I think it's useful uh, either for for seeing you know new features uh, that we will have in IntelliJ or remembering something that, for example, I forgot and or I don't normally use. So yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the things that I like uh, about it.